up, Marin from Fab. Today's video is just going to be a little look at the uh, ECU I've got for the car. This is really like the final puzzle piece to actually get in the car running. Initially I planned on using the, um, the original ECU. Later cars have got uh, some immobilizers on them which makes it difficult to have this so that it will run by itself sort of thing. I'm not using the whole um, MX-5 wiring loom. I'm just using the engine harness. So um, I just need to be able to power the ECU independently to uh, everything else. So went for one of these. This is from Motorsport Electronics. Um, it's not actually the ME221, which is their like sort of flagship ECU that they do for MX-5 stuff. Uh, this is the next one up. Initially, I just wanted the cheapest option, but they did me a really good deal on this. And um, there were some things that this featured, which would just make the installation a little bit easier. So, so what was really cool about this one, I'll have a quick look at it, I don't want to really do anything with it in my uh, workshop full of metal filings, so I'll, I'll put this all into, its, into the casing at home. That will give you a little work. So, you pretty much just uh, take the lid off your existing ECU, bolt that in and then it, it's a plug and play ECU. But for my applications it's not really plug and play because I need to make a loom or I need to make like a power system to power everything that needs powering. So what's different about this ECU? The main thing, and this is, this is what made me go for it, was it comes with its own wideband system built in. So this is connected directly into the ECU and then you don't need to use any of the existing Lambda um, sensors and you then have a, a wideband, proper wideband reading directly from your ECU. So whereas normally you would have to buy an external wideband lambda um, sensor and then put another uh, wideband port into your exhaust, this one, it, everything's in one. And on this plug, um, you drill a little hole in the side of the box, one for uh, vacuum hose, because uh, this has this has an internal uh, map sensor, so I can get rid of the airflow meter. Uh, so you drill a little hole to poke that through, and then you also drill a little hole to poke this cable through, and then that can be a direct um, link to either a digital dash or you can connect it to your phone, have an app on your phone or a tablet um, and have all the information including wideband AFR on your phone. So it, it will just make for um, a really simple easy installation. There's also a lot of, of other features to this which say apart from the other, the 221, um, I can't remember, there's some data logging stuff. Was, it was the wideband thing that sort of sold me on, on this one and just the fact that it was going to make the whole installation a bit easier. I'll put their um, website link and then they got all the information on on the on the differences and uh, you can get this same ECU as a as a complete standalone for any engine or plug and play 
for the Mazda uh, stuff, but they seem to specialize in Mazda tuning. So, so that will have a base map on it and then I'll actually have to get that mapped. When it comes to um, getting this to run, this is the loom plug that connects to this. And this would have gone off to the car side of the harness. So this engine has a complete separate uh, wiring harness. There's a few things in that that I don't need. So I'm trying to, been trying to go through that and then working out what we need to connect. So I did have it all sussed out. I found these wiring uh, diagrams. So yeah, anyway, I, I basically had it all worked out from using this. So what's tricky, a little bit tricky, is uh, you basically need a live, a permanent live, a switch live, um, ground, but a lot of the lives need to be switched by relays um, because you have got signal wires coming out of the ECU and you don't want any load being switched through the ECU or anything which is that's why uh, you would run a relay for anything um, I think people sometimes get a bit confused as to what a relay is for they'll say like do I need a relay for my fan on my car or something like that but the all the relays doing is taking the load away from the switch or the switch wiring if that's your fan or, or whatever appliance it is a light or whatever and that's your your battery you can have your power feed coming from your battery to your relay to your fan and it's switching that power supply independently by a little electromagnet which is inside the relay so that you can then switch that with whatever you need so this switch here doesn't need to be able to carry any load like an electrical contactor on a piece of like uh, machinery if that was a massive motor that took a huge amount of draw you don't want to be having all that current going for a little switch you're going to press with your finger it's the same same concept you're just directly feeding power to something and removing removing any uh, large switching currents through the switches so these can be switched via an earth because an ECU quite often has switched earths instead of switched lives um, and then all the cabling to the switching can be much smaller that's why it's done a lot in modern cars and everything's on relays you can then run a much smaller wiring loom with just switch wires that don't need to be able to carry any sort of load or capacity anyway what I was saying was that so this this diagram which i found i had everything worked out how it was going to go so this has an internal switch for the main relay so you've got a main relay that powers everything and that was activated internally on the ecu so effectively the ec you had a power feed to the ecu and then the pat the switch wire would come back out of the ECU and then tell the main relay that all these other circuits needed to be fed power from the main relay. Right? So that had all that worked out. But then when I came to trace the pins on my plug, I found out that this one does not have the pin for the signal wire that comes out of the ECU. So, this doesn't work for my application, even though it says it's the same year. So, this is another one I've found, which seems to match up more with what I have, where this shows that the 
main relay switch completely independently from the ECU. Um, so the main relay is only switched by the ignition system. So, um, yeah. Uh, so what I've got so far is this is my signal wire to my fuel pump, so that's not power to it. All that's doing is sending a signal which will go to um, the fuel pump relay and then the, the relay will be fed directly from another fuse. And this here is a feed to the injectors which this needs to be fed from my 12 volt relay live. This is the injector circuit here so that needs to be switched basically from the main relay. I've got another one there which I've marked 12 volt from main relay and then that is the 12 volt constant uh, supply to the ECU so it's a, basically a, a permanent live. That's the fan relay so that'll tell the fan when to come on so again that's uh, not actually powering the fan that's just switching the, the relay. To be honest I'm still just sort of uh, trawling through everything and getting my head around it. What I'm basically going to do is make a little fuse box with three relays in it and some fuses that will supply the engine by itself. I'll have a box that is just dedicated to running the engine, it will be completely separate to the rest of the electrics in the car and then I'll have a, a separate little fuse box which is going to run all my lights and wipers and uh, all that kind of stuff and then I can have my little digital dash gauge that, and I'll also be able to have you know, my phone connected if I do want to check other sensors and that kind of stuff. So yeah, so it's just this real time consuming, but I want to get the thing what, with wiring cars and what happens a lot of the time with stuff I've done is you do stuff to just get it running and then you, you think you want to change something and you add something and like with this one, I want to have, have everything neat and as minimal as possible so that it's just simple and uh, easy to work on and um, nothing in there that doesn't need to be there and no extras that I might think I would, and you know want to add at a later date or something I want to get everything done um, first time round but that's basically it just thought I'd give you a little um, little look at that if you're interested in uh, in this then go and, go and uh, have a look Motorsport Electronics that's going to be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.